Hello fellow modelers, in this video I'm going to build a diorama for my Focke-Wulf which I made recently. I received from you a lot of requests for a diorama with aircraft model, so I will try to do something like this, and I will try to make it easy as possible so everyone can do that. I cut out base from styrofoam, it is extruded polystyrene and you can buy the material in any building supply stores. The base dimensions are 29cm to 30cm, so this time it is a little bit larger than my usual 72 scale diorama models. Styrofoam is ugly and artificial, therefore I create a nice frame from balsa wood. If you are also RC modeler, you have undoubtedly good supplies of this material. Very helpful are the small pins for wooden chip models. They make only a tiny hole, which I simply cover with a party afterward. I do not want simply flat airfield diorama, therefore I think interesting will be air wall against fragmentation bombs. I didn't find any Luftwaffe historical picture, so this one is based only at my imagination. I create a wooden wall also from balsa wood. It is very light and soft material, therefore you can simply make a nice wooden plank structure with a hobby knife. I make each line deeper and more pronounced with a pencil. Now I glue wood together with ordinary PVA glue and fix position with pins. Meanwhile, I create floor also from balsa wood. Actually, as I'm thinking about it, I do not need a lot of material. However, this time I cut wooden planks because I want to make a small gaps between them. I told you that I want to make this diorama very easy. Revolutionary are different foliages with already applied grass and stones for railroad models. But nowadays are more and more popular in plastic model community. 
I never used them before, but this time is diorama quite large, so it seems like a perfect solution. Application is straightforward. I cut out triangle with scissors. Then I apply PVA glue on polystyrene. And finally I fix terrain foliage with the pins. After a few hours, I can simply remove pins and terrain is finished. It was not so difficult. Now I glue the rest. I don't know, but it seems like a cheating to me. In any case, the result is very nice. Balsa wood has very nice white shade, but it does not fit with a diorama which I want to create. I paint each wooden plank with oil paint and different shades. I like painting with oil paints because you can simply blend the result with enamel thinner and this way only with one color you can reach the whole variance of shades. I paint darker shades with dry pigments. I need to create terrain structure with a grass also on the bottom side. This time foliage is not very useful because I also need to fill gaps between wooden planks. I use for this purpose crushed cork and soft sand. When the work is done, I fix the result with a highly diluted PVA glue. However, I like grass turfs from foliage, so I gently remove them. I glue turfs randomly with a PVA glue. I try to achieve similar result like on the foliage which I used before. Nowadays exist a lot of types of foliages with different textures, so I use this one for bushes. So the diorama is almost finished. I paint some weathering like moss with acrylic color. Focke Wolf has open engine covers, so it is clear that the diorama must have some tools and ground crew. I bought these two sets from Tamiya in 48 scale and in addition miniatures of Luftwaffe ground crew from ICM.
I must paint a lot of tools, therefore easy way is to glue each part at plastic sprue or fix parts with a cell adhesive poster gum. I spray all wooden parts with acrylic paint. I dilute all color in glass bottle with a thinner, so not be fooled that I use color without dilution. I simply apply dark wash and blend it with an enamel thinner afterward. Now I paint wooden texture with oil paints. It is quite easy. Then I let it dry properly for two days. Ok, now miniatures. I am still not confident with painting miniatures, therefore I am testing different approaches every time and looking for ideal combination of techniques with whom I will be satisfied. The most important is to have a good quality miniatures with round details. The shapes will help you to paint shading. The best are resin miniatures, but this set from ICM is also very nice and with a cute dog. <coughs> Another very important step is to remove all mold lines. I will use acrylic and oil paint technique, therefore I can touch the model in the process, otherwise I could inadvertently clean oil paint. So I fix miniatures on this wooden base. You can also use vine cork stopper. So I assemble miniatures, but I know that on the surface is still a lot of imperfections. Therefore I spray the surface with a primer and afterward I clean dust and seam lines with a sandpaper. So painting, if you have airbrush, the easy way how to paint basic shading is to spray model with a black color and then spray lighter shades from the upper side of the miniature. The color will hit only raised areas and therefore this way you will get a nice basic shading. The rest of details I paint with acrylic colors for a brush. I use different brands like Citadel, Revel Aqua, Vallejo or Army Painter. My favorite is Citadel because I like practical bottles and color has very good coverage properties. So here is miniatures collection all together. I protect the result with a clear flat varnish. It is also a good base for oil paint technique. The microstructure of a flat clear varnish is like a sponge, so the oil can easily soak in. I change color tone with a different shades and then paint highlights and shading.
The mechanic has working overall, therefore I paint a little bit of dirt with oil paint. Again. I don't like this part, I try to paint face shading with a light flesh tone, hopefully it is 4 to 8 scale, so the face is barely visible. It is still not perfect, but you can see small progress from my last diorama project. It is 4 to 8 scale, so I hope that 4 to 8 scale miniatures will be even more detailed. However, always in the future. Finally, I can glue all the details on the diorama surface. Maybe you noticed in the last Focable video that inside of the right wing is one MG151 dismount. So here it is. The main story is about this. The pilot had a problem with a jammed machine gun, so the team of mechanics trying to solve the problem they analyzed the whole plane, but the problem was with a defective ammunition. I think toolbox does not make a lot of sense if it does not have any tools inside. I use for this purpose photo edge set with a screwdrivers and spanners, or something like this. Something is still missing, yes, oil from engine on the ground. It makes the surface less uniform. And I create more details, I put into the box straw from static grass. And to the bucket, dirty water from Vallejo still water and acrylic color. I paint some ammunition with red color. It can be some tracer ammunition, high explosive or stealth, if you are a war thunder fanboy. The wood is still uniform, therefore I paint more shading with oil paint. I apply dry pigment between wooden planks and clear food with isopropyl alcohol. With the steps is diorama complete. That is all. I really like diorama models because you can create the whole model from scratch and you'll give space to your imagination. This diorama is larger than usual because there is not a lot of options how to make it smaller. Maybe you can create some heavy crushed plane, but it is also more difficult to make it a little bit realistic. In the end, the most time consuming after Focke-Wulf was to paint all miniatures. I hope you learned something new, again, because I did, and a lot. So. Thanks for watching and see you next time.